The UFC continues to add to its summer calendar. Welcome in to MMA Live Extra. My name is Todd Grisham. They're headed over to Dublin in mid-July, and it's a local boy done good who will be headlining. Connor McGregor will square off against Cole Miller July 19th. And to preview that car, we welcome in from Las Vegas, Nevada, the one, the only, Brett Okamoto. Brett, Connor is known almost as much for what he's done inside the octagon for how his mouth runs outside of it. What do you expect from him in his home country? Well, he's coming off of the longest layoff of his career, that ACL injury that he suffered in a fight against Max Holloway. Had to go to Los Angeles, get a procedure done, rehab it. He's facing a good guy in Cole Miller. You know, as you mentioned, McGregor, he likes to run his mouth. He's called out just about everybody in the featherweight division, everyone in the top 10, including the champion, Jose Aldo. But you don't just get to jump straight to Jose Aldo from a fight with Max Holloway. Conor McGregor has looked terrific. He's been impressive. He's been fun to watch through two fights with the UFC, but he needs to continue to move up that ladder. A fight against Cole Miller does that. Miller does present some issues I think that McGregor has not seen so far in his career. He comes from a good camp. He's got a lot of experience. Uh, he does have finishing ability as well. So I'm looking forward to this fight, looking to see what McGregor does with this opportunity. McGregor coming off a torn ACL surgery. He's coming back. We've seen this before in the UFC. What kind of pitfalls does he need to avoid in his first fight back knowing he's coming off that injury? Yeah, well, you know, you never want to see a guy go under the knife for any procedure, especially an ACL tear uh, in this sport or really in any other sport. Conor McGregor, I think he's got a few things going for him, though. He's young. He's 25. He's also got almost an obsessive, compulsive work ethic. You hear stories about the first time he ever came to Las Vegas. He met Dana White, hung out with him, and then went back to his hotel room and shadow boxed until the wee hours of the morning. That's the kind of guy that, this, that uh, Conor McGregor is. So I think that if he approached his recovery with that level of passion, he should be able to come back. The question is... Did it have something to do with the style of Conor McGregor, or was it just a freak injury? Hopefully this is something that he is done with and he will not have to deal with again. How important is it for the UFC to see McGregor doing so well? He almost seems like he's the next Chael Sonnen as far as getting that outside interest, all, all these eyeballs on UFC that might not otherwise be watching. No doubt about it. You know, this guy has just been out for, for about a year, and everybody's still talking about him. People are looking forward to his return. He comes from Ireland, so he represents a different market for the UFC. Um, and in addition to talking well, he also fights very well, and, and, and it's an exciting style. You know, as, as fun as Chael Sonnen was to, uh, to, to listen to, he wasn't always so much fun to watch fight. You know, this was a guy who was a grinder. Conor McGregor is not like that. He's going out looking for knockouts on the feet. So uh, definitely a, a big ace up uh, the UFC's uh, sleeve, and they're hoping that he can develop, giving him this fight against Cole Miller. Let's talk about his opponent, Cole Miller. He's won back-to-back -back fights since losing three of his previous four. What does he need to do to get the upset in Connor, uh, Connor's hometown? Well, for Cole Miller, a lot of it is about consistency. This guy has had, a tr has had some, some difficulties maintaining a high level from fight to fight. He'll look great, and then he'll look pretty bad in his next fight. And there are some variables in this that can contribute to that. You know, he's, he's been back and forth with McGregor in the headlines, so will there be some emotions at play in this fight? He's going to be dealing with a hostile environment over there in Dublin. Just the nuances of traveling overseas, dealing with the, div uh, the challenges that that presents. For some guys, it's no big deal. They can fight anywhere, but for a guy like Cole Miller, who has had consistency issues just fighting in the States. What's it going to be like for him to go over and fight overseas? Stylistically, I think he does have a style that could give Conor McGregor some difficulties. As I mentioned before, he's got a lot of experience. He is a finisher. I'd like to see him get off to a good start because when you're facing a guy who's coming off of a long layoff, you want to get off to a good start, especially in his hometown. Uh, and if Miller can in initiate a little bit of grappling sequences, I think that'll help him. I think that that's where his biggest advantage is. UFC Fight Night 46, July 19th in Ireland. Brett Okamoto, we appreciate the time. Make sure you keep it tuned right here to ESPN.com for a loaded summer of UFC action, including UFC Fight Night 45, which takes place three days before the fight we just talked about in Ireland. That'll do it for this edition of MMA Live Extra. My name is Todd Grisham. Until next time, keep fighting.